Okay, so just wanted to show you a little bit how to fix um, the whirlpool. Um, I'm having one here that is broken. Okay, so um, eventually I'm going to remove all the screw along the way. Okay, you have screws along the way. You want to get them out. I already did it, but I'm just telling you to get to the panel. Okay, in my case, I have a F2E2 error, which means between the board, which is this board, Okay, so between the control board and uh, the user interface, there was something, you know, not communicating. So, um, I had to replace this one. So, I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, once you're done so that you remove the panel, okay, the back um, panel, what you want to do, you see here you have a screw that holds this one. So, you want to remove this screw. Okay, so um, once you removed it, over here you have a little clip. Okay, let me show you a little closer. So you can see here you have a little clip. Okay, so you want to depress that clip. By your... uh oh, okay, so <laughs> I'm going to show you a little bit. Hold on, hold on, sorry. So you want to depress that clip, okay, right here, and then pull this cable. And that's how you remove this cable. So this is a cable for the um, the user interface. So let me get back. Okay, for the user interface. Okay. So you remove this one, you put it aside. In my case, it was this box. Okay, the control board that was uh, defective. Eventually, I already worked on it, but I wanted to just show you how I did. Uh, over here, you have a little clip. You need to push that clip up. Okay, and then pull this one out. Okay, push clip up, push this one out. And you will see on the side here, you have another clip. It is also holding here. So you want to push this one down. And then normally, something it locks this way. So up, down, and then you push this one down and you can remove. There are groove, let me show you on the back here. There are groove over here that enters and that clips inside over here okay so that's the one that you want to push back in order to remove it so once you have done so uh, to get the the part numbers you want to read over here okay let me zoom a little bit hopefully you can see so you want to read over here for the part number okay Want to read over here once you have this one you type in uh, ebay or whatever you'll be able to get it now to remove the cables pay attention not all holes are having a cables inside in this one you have a total of eight holes let me hold on one second let me make this one better for you there you go so you have a total of eight holes now all those eight holes are not all filled so you want one you have one here at the end and one over here if you are pay attention they're not inside so to remove this cable pay attention you have here a clip okay so let me do it from the back here you see you have a clip can you see the clip so as i said you have clip holding these um cables Okay, so those clip over here, what you want to do, you want to push it up a little bit. Okay, so let me do from, from the front. So here will be push down. Okay, push down. Let me do it again. Uh, eventually, before to get here, you will have this one, okay, that will be inside like this. It's the same principle. You have those clips. Okay, you have those clips that enters in those grooves. So all you have to do is to depress, okay, to be able to remove those clips out from the groove. That's pretty much what you do, okay, on this, on this one here. You have this little thing, okay, that covers here on the, that covers here on the, the power cable. So you have clips over here, also you just depress the clip over here. There are two little clips. You depress, you remove this one, and then you will be left 
with this one under here okay i just did it but i'm trying to show you how you go about it okay so once you have removed this remember the principle are the clips that you want to push aside in order to remove them once you have done so this cable to remove it you want to depress those clips a little bit okay let, let me do it from uh, from here it's a little difficult okay so i'm trying to make sure that uh, you can see it from the camera so let me push back the camera a little bit so hopefully you can see what i'm doing so this you press over here and you pull it okay you do the same thing you press over here and you pull it eventually before to start all this you want to unplug uh the device and <laughs> make sure that the the the, uh, the breaker is off okay eventually so you have to do that first so over here you can see that clip that is holding here so is that little clip that we want to bring back and then push this out you see we want to bring it back and push this out gentle like gently so push out and there you go and then we do the same thing for all of them so once we do all of the same thing for all of them we get back so that's pretty much all once you've done here as i said your um part number is over here that's the one you want to look for okay and uh, you go by the part number not the item number not the uh, dishwasher itself you want to go by the part number and once you found the part mainly you can have it on uh, ebay and once you found the part you just get it and put everything back so let's put back everything So I'm gonna start here with those ones. Uh, I'm gonna remove these first. So once you removed, and then you have everything all on the new device, you just clip. Okay, this is a big one. It goes in the B. You just push it inside. Okay, make sure it's very put in uh the top of the clip where you have this one goes on the top like this so you push this one also in okay it's very secure and then you can see you have the names let me zoom in so you have the names actually of the colors written so you can see here brown blue violet uh i think here is what uh, yeah red and yellow so some of them you don't have okay anything inside so we want to put here the brown so that will be this one okay the brown this one that's a larger one it just goes inside and clip and uh, click inside okay that's pretty much how it goes so i'm gonna do everything you do the same thing you just line up other than that, you take a picture of what you have before, so this way you know what it is. So let's go. So we have all of them in. Okay, the power, the next cable. You have here the brown, the big brown, should I say. And after the blue, there is a empty spot. And after the empty spot, the violet. And after the little brown, the red, the yellow. And there is a last empty spot over here. So you all set. And then once we have done so, you want to um, plug in your just to test. Okay, so in this case here, we have this one. So the way it goes is that where you have that clip goes down because the clip is over here. So it goes down this way. Okay, so it's all in. Now I'm gonna just plug everything in and test, see if we have a better signal and the F2, if the F2 is out. So let's see. Okay, so I plugged everything. You want to pay attention not to touch anything. So here, there you go. If I push this one on, 
There you go, we all ready. So that's how you repair the and then you fix your dishwasher. Uh, in some cases, it can be uh, the user interface that is uh, over here that might be damaged. In this case, you will want to replace this one. But in my case, it was rather the control board. So I put it, I will put everything together and be right back. So to put back this one, okay, you see you have one and two. Okay, groove over here. All you do, you place it back this way. Okay, and then you make sure that, sorry, that your cable are out of the way. Okay, you make sure that your cable are out of the way and then you just, here, cable out of the way and then you just click. And then he clicks back inside. Okay, as I was saying, this are the clip here that you just push together to remove. Same thing over here. After you have done so, you take that uh, cover for the power you do the same thing okay you put it this way and there you go now it's all in that's pretty much what you do in this side so you put back your thing inside here and then you lock that in and eventually you put your one and you have two screws so you have one on the on the top here and you have another one I think, hold on. So next thing you want to do, you want to just sit back this, okay, back where it belongs. Okay, the user interface top. Make sure that it clips in. Okay, and there you go. It clips in correctly. That all your corner are well flash in. Okay. And when it's well flush in, you just put back the screw over here. So we're gonna plug back, as I said, you have the clip here, so you turn around. Come put this one around the side and just plug back that in. There you go. Okay, don't line it up correctly. There you go, this way. And, uh, so next thing you're gonna run the screw, the longer screw, okay, will be on the top. So you will have two over here, one on the edge and another one over here. And the little one will be all around it. So let me do it, I'll be right back. So we have everything now packed, put back together. Okay, they put back together. Now we're gonna try, see how it works. Okay, we haven't been able to use this uh, dishwasher for a while because it was broken, so let's see how it goes now. So let's close it. Okay, so let's try. There you go, it comes in on correctly. And uh, let's try cycle, soak and clean. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna start, close, and it should be doing now his work. There you go, it's running up correctly. And that's pretty much all. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the videos to help other people also see the video. And God bless you. Bye-bye.